How's everybody doing today? Jason from Toad Tool Gardens and today we're going to be wrapping some fruit trees and I'm going to show you how to protect them against winter burn, rabbits, and any other critters. So come with me and I'll show you exactly what to do. And it looks like I'm going to get going to get just a little bit of help here. Hello, Mr. Sausage. What are you doing? You gonna come help me? Food or body. Oh, you're nice and warm. You've been sitting in the sun, haven't you? All right, let's get these trees wrapped. So I've got a few fruit trees that definitely need some attention and I'm gonna be wrapping them to show you how to protect against winter burn and against other critters especially rabbits during the winter that may want to take advantage of these tree trunks and give them a little nibble so I've got some plums over here three four different varieties of plums and then over here I've got I've got a couple cherry trees and these are all yeah these are all budding out real nice I've got another little cherry tree over there so we're gonna go ahead and do some tree wrap and get these guys protected okay so first thing you can see right here I have one of these you know pretty conventional trunk sleeves right here now a lot of the time this is gonna work just fine but It's not always going to protect great against winter burn because you're going to have that you're going to have that opening right here and your tree is going to have air well the the protector is going to have air during the winter come right down through there. But before we start wrapping this we're going to go ahead and take care of our suckers down here and trim those off. And then we're going to be using some DeWitt tree wrap. This is the stuff I like to use the most every winter you want to go ahead and clip these guys off right next to the trunk and then you want to go ahead and get rid of all, any dead grass or any ground root suckers down here so that tree is always going to have airflow right by the graft right here now most most modern trees you know in the last 20 25 years and up until now are all grafted onto rootstock not all of them but a lot of them are just because the rootstock is going to be a lot healthier and more uh, hardy than possibly the tree that it's grafted onto clean that up you want to take off any loose bark you can see that's that's all from winter damage last year because this was not completely wrapped it just had that cone or the uh, white protector on it okay we're looking pretty good right there we got everything pruned off now before I wrap this I'm gonna go ahead and show you for like summer protection and when you're doing uh, protect you know I think this is a this is an 8 inch but the uh, 6 inches will work just fine it's just corrugated tile you get from, you know, a big box store like Lowe's or Fleet Farm. Or, and a lot of times landscape companies will just have extra chunks of this laying around. And you just ask them and they'll give you a chunk. So you want to go ahead and cut that right down so it's an opening. Pretty much the same style as that. This is going to be a heck of a lot more flimsy versus this note. Now this is what you want to use, put around the tree, kind of twist it so it goes into the ground a little, but this is what's going to protect against the trimmer, like your string trimmer when you're weed whipping around there if you don't have mulch around the trunk of your, your tree. But I suggest doing these four, six, eight inches tall. Your trimmer is going to hit that, it's going to bounce right off versus these smaller ones 
your trimmer is going to hit that and it's just going to eat it right up. So that's what you want for trimmer protection and that, you know, plenty of air around that trunk. Otherwise, like uh, these, if they're a little tighter, if you don't take these off during the growing season, it's going to cause moisture all through here, just like this and possibly kill the tree over over time just because this will this will get mold and just too much moisture in there so you want this one during the summer this one during the winter but i'm going to take it a step further and this is what i like to use on all my trees my saplings you know pretty much any tree up to three to four inches thick I'll be wrapping it with DeWitt tree wrap. So, and you're gonna wanna use some tape that is gonna hold up against winter. Back this guy up a little bit. And you can see the whole thing. So, Got this all cleared out. We're gonna take a tree wrap. And this is basically like woven fabric. And if you put it on like I show you, the rabbits won't even touch it. Because this stuff is nice and thick. All right. Now, I always start all the way on the bottom and give it two or three wraps right away all the way down to the ground and then start wrapping the tree now I'm going halfway over the last wrap so you've got double coverage almost immediately when you're going up that tree now you want this nice and taut you don't want to be just you know cranking on it and pulling it super hard but you want it taut where it's not going to fall or any air can really get in there this will breathe a little bit but not too much now keep wrapping that depending on where you are you know in the country what zone you're at you want this to go you know I mean sometimes in winter here in Minnesota we get snow two feet high during the winter so you want to wrap this tree you know at least a good foot higher than where you think the snow is going to be because the rabbits will come in and they'll stand right on top of that snow and they'll just nibble this guy right down but you always want to go up to at least the first branch to wrap your your tree wrap so the stuff doesn't just fall straight down give it a good couple wraps on top before you go back down just wrap it around two different ways so you know it's not going to fall and then make that decent tight and then you start coming back down, doing the same procedure, wrapping it 50% over, just like you're coming down, or just like you went up on the first try. And you can see, I mean, that's that's got roughly four layers on most of the areas on that trunk, and this is going to be prime protection against winter burn. Whoop. Try to keep it taut. Try not to let it curl over on your fold over on you so you're not wasting any extra. Okay, we're coming back down to the end here. Just 
Give it a little slice. Bring it all the way down. Put my pruner to hold it. Then I'm going to go ahead and just use some basic electrical tape. You can use pretty much any tape you have on hand, electrical, duct tape, anything that's going to withstand the winter environment. Wrap that around as many times as you think it's going to take to hold that in place. And that's how you do it, so you only have to use just a little bit of tape on the bottom, and you don't have to use any up on top. You wrap it around the branches, come back down, you've got almost four layers of protection right there, and that's gonna definitely, definitely protect against winter burn and against critters that are gonna try to nibble on this. I've actually never, ever had rabbits uh, nibble through this. I don't know if it's, uh, I mean, as far as I know, it's just woven fabric, and it's pretty thick, but I've never, I mean, most of the time they're gonna come up here and smell this and maybe nibble on it a little and just decide that it's too much work to even mess with and go find something else to eat. So that, that one's done. This is a little park repair. And you can see I've got some pruning to do here soon. We're gonna be getting into spring. It's, it's mid-March now. And I almost didn't even wrap my trees because it's been such a mild winter. Um, I go ahead and wrap any fruit trees or little saplings that are under three inches. So, you know, getting to be about that big right there. All right, let's, uh, I think I'm going to go to the next one. We're going to go over to our cherry tree and get that one wrapped. All right, here we go with our North Star cherry. Just starting to prune off these bottom branches you can already see where the rabbit damage is since that one wasn't wrapped they attacked that one they they always attack fruit trees first for what I what I've found probably because they're super tasty Now I'm going to leave these because these are side shoot branches right here that actually produce fruit. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean up our grass around our root flare, root graft. Because you don't want any of that grass to get stuck underneath that wrap or it's going to cause moisture behind it. And then eventually create mold. All right. Now this guy, this is probably one of the last, I probably, maybe next year is going to be the last year I wrap this one. Just because, um, I mean, he's, he's almost at that three inch level or three inch thickness, but these cherry trees sometimes really don't like the Minnesota winter. So I go ahead and wrap them anyway. Just like we did on the other one. Try to do a 50% overlap every time you come around. Now obviously the bigger trunk trees are going to take more wrap and this stuff is pretty good too you can usually get two sometimes three years out of the same stuff as long as it's not damaged or uh, you know it's all dirty and it's got mold on it or whatever but it's it's pretty inexpensive in the first place
that's looking pretty good. Now on this one, I'm probably going to go right to about this branch. Well, there you go. That was my deciding decision. We're going to go ahead and put one small piece of tape on there. Go ahead and get another roll of tree wrap. Now you can get this stuff pretty much everywhere. You, they also sell the stuff that's more, uh, oh, my going away. That's more like a paper. I'll just uh, I'll hold this up so you guys can see it. So you can see the tiny little air holes, but. They sell uh, like some brownish like paper stuff. I'm not a fan of that stuff because it just, it just tears even in the wind. All right, so we're gonna start back up here where our roll left off. I'm gonna wrap that a couple times to hold it in place. And start going back down the trunk. Now I usually don't bother doing these little side ones but the trunks I do and I'm probably going a little too high on this but I'm just for purposes of the video in case you live in an area that gets a lot of snow because I mean I've seen snow up to here just on, on my property here definitely wasn't like that this year that's for sure Probably the most mild winter I have ever seen in my life. But this is definitely going to protect against your winter burn and it's going to protect against the critters. And you know, it all depends on how big your trunk is for how much you're going to need. Most of the time you can do two trees with one roll. Tape this guy up. And the tape doesn't have to be completely overlapped. Just do what you can. Make sure it's nice and snug. If you got some pieces that are whipping in the wind a little bit, go ahead and take them, tape them up. There, that's looking awesome. As my pants has grass and burrs on it. So you can see, nice and taped up. Let's say we're about four, four and a half feet from the ground. Had a whole crap load of cherries on this one last year. My smaller one over there, that's an Evans Bay, uh, Evans cherry. I got the little protector on there. This one doesn't, this one's not growing quite as fast. I think it's cause it's, it doesn't get quite as much uh, sun during the day. But there she is. That's how you wrap your trees. Protect against winter burn, critters, and well, mice and voles too. And it'll definitely help if you have any deer in the area scraping against the trunk too.
So come springtime, you want to make sure you pull this wrap off. Now, you, you know, just take it off, un, undo your tape, and then just roll the wrap right back up into a ball. Same with the uh, protectors here. You want to make sure you take those off as soon as it starts warming up to like 40, 45 degrees every day. Otherwise, this is going to create so much moisture behind the tree trunk that most likely you will kill the tree within a year or so. Because I've, I've replaced hundreds from customers that have forgotten to take the, take the tube off or take the tree wrap off. So make sure you take that off in the spring before it gets too warm. So thanks for joining me on another video. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And tell me in the comments, do you guys wrap your trees? What kind of, what kind of wrap do you use? Do you use the, the DeWitt paper stuff? Do you just use the little plastic things? But yeah, like and subscribe. Have a good one. Jason from Toadstool Gardens. Happy growing.